Okay, today Alexis and I are going to show you squirrel. Do not try this at home and do not try it without a spotter for sure. It's a fun exercise, it's very athletic, very acrobatic. You should always have a spotter um, and we're going to show you how to do the exercise, then how to spot the exercise, and then flow through it again. Okay, so I'm going to go first and Alexis is going to be here to spot me. So I have a very, very small foot so I need to wear tennis shoes. Otherwise, my feet slip out of the fuzzies, um, but you should do it barefoot typically, but my feet um, will slip and we don't want that to happen. Safety first. All right, here okay. we go. Okay, so here's half hang, going into full hang. Deep breath, inhale, exhale. Alexis is going to go and I'm going to show you how to spot and then she'll do it in its entirety after I talk through the spotting. So you get on if they need help. Feet in and then wrap. Wrap. There we go. Make sure they feel secure. Yep. Okay, so now she can rest in half hang for a few seconds, let her low back decompress. And then she's gonna pull herself off the back into full hang. And then optional little push out to get a little more extension. And then when she's ready, she's gonna swing three times. One, two, three, and then rest. Now to spot this, I'm gonna put my hand underneath her waist and my other hand on her sacrum and tailbone and help her lift. She's gonna pull her heels to her butt on three. One, two, three, push, good. Then she's gonna walk. I'm gonna hold her rib cage. If you know your person doesn't have strength, you should not be doing this part. One, there's hanging up. Climbing down, and then she's gonna climb back. She's gonna pike up. Again, I'm still spotting her. Hand underneath her waist, tuck and roll, down, okay? Then she's gonna lay off to her right. Okay, then she's gonna turn to her left. Same thing, this one you kinda gotta just let them go. And then coming back around. And then if you're in the wrong position, you want to be scooted down a little bit. You can swing a little bit more and you can give them a little boost to start swinging. Give her a little push so she can swing. And then she's going to lay out. She's 
going to turn to her right. The feet will cross slightly, using the hamstrings to help pull, using the upper body. And then she's going to flip again. And then she's going to pull back into full hang. And you want to put your foot right on there sacrum and push. And then bring it back and rest. Do you want to do the whole thing? Yeah. All right, so we're going to give Alexis a little rest there while she hangs. <laughs> Okay, so that's squirrel. So that's a bunch of different exercises that we've learned. We've learned half hang, which is that. We've learned full hang, which is hanging off the back. We've learned hanging up, which is the pull-up position. Um, and then your upper body, you really need good upper body strength, especially for that pull-up part. If you know that your person um, can't do that part, um, maybe you just climb up a little bit and then climb down a little bit, okay? So, um, Alexis yep. is going to make it look like a squirrel. Squirrel, <laughs> squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay? So she's going to go a little bit faster. I'm going to do minimal spotting because she doesn't really need it. She's awesome. <laughs> All right, Alexis, go for it. Okay. Take your bow. Have fun. All right, that's squirrel, you guys. <laughs> <laughs>